All right, everybody. Anybody want to guess what's in the box? We had a uh, delivery today. If y'all have been watching, you know I'm doing some upgrading here on the uh, farm. So uh, let me uh, unbox this thing right quick. Show you what we got. Alto. There is a new 22 kilowatt propane generac generator. So let's uh, get it off the trailer and move it over there where it's going to go. Morning everybody, new day here and uh, this is the little pad site that we uh, poured here for the generator. I'll eventually, uh, like I said, this whole floor inside of this shop is going to be uh, concrete. But for now I just need a pad set where they can come out here and uh, set our propane tank uh, which is actually going to run the standby generator and we will uh, pipe over there to the house uh, the copper a pipe for propane into the house uh, but that's our pad site hopefully we'll get the generator set on there today and uh, propane to come soon unboxed the generator yesterday everything looked good I've heard good things about Generac seems to be a pretty uh, decent generator built really well of course, uh, everything new's got all the computer controls and Wi-Fi and all that good stuff on it. I'm not uh, necessarily so excited about that, but uh, if you're going to buy new stuff, that's what you're going to get. So uh, hopefully I won't have any electrical issues or uh, computer issues with it. Uh, but it uh, appears to be a really good unit. It's supposed to be really quiet. And again, uh, 22 kilovolts, kilovolts, 22,000 watts. Uh, so it uh, should fully run my solar, uh, charge my batteries, and uh, run the house all at the same time. Uh, we are uh, getting some more solar installed up here on the uh, porch overhang of the uh, roof. Uh, we got 36 panels over here producing about 11,000 watts. And we're going to put another 14 panels up here on this roof and produce about another 5,000. Uh, so we're going to be running about uh, 16,000 watts uh, through the solar system. 
be about 150 amps uh, through the inverters into the house. Uh, so we should definitely be able to run the house uh, off of the solar. I knew when I sized this thing that uh, we were close as far as the AC goes. Uh, that's pretty much what all this is really for is the air conditioning. Uh, the refrigeration and lighting, things like that is not a big draw on the solar. Uh, but if you do intend on running some air conditioning, uh, you're going to need some serious solar. Uh, unless you're just running a little bitty tiny unit in a house, uh, you're going to need uh, quite a few amps. Amp draw and inverters and panels to run all that. Because uh, that is the key. Uh, you want to run everything all day as much as possible. Uh, without using your batteries and then uh, when the sun goes down you're going to be running off of battery power and uh, you want to try not to use big things like the ac hopefully the house will be cool enough during the day i've got a couple of small ductless units uh, two tons that are going to be added uh, to my uh, four ton system in there uh, which will give me six tons on a five thousand square foot house uh, should be plenty because the uh, four tons is keeping up with it pretty good right now uh, but when it's 100, uh, above 100 outside, it does have a little uh, trouble keeping up. Uh, but for now, guys, uh, hopefully we're going to get that generator mounted up and uh, propane uh, plumbed in in the next uh, week or so. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we'll be back uh, whenever we get this thing uh, hooked up and uh, solar going in. Thanks for watching.